All around the world we're telling stories All around the world we're saying once upon a time Hi campers! My name is Dana and I am the Education Director for Sparkler Learning. I am so glad that you're back for another week of camp because this week we are traveling to a country called South Africa. Do you know that in South Africa there are 11 official languages? English is one of them and another of the languages is called Zulu. Kumzile is a member of the Zulu ethnic group and today she is going to share a Zulu story with us called Why the Cheetah's Cheeks Are Stained with Tears. It's a little bit of a sad story, but it has a happy ending and I hope you enjoy it. Let's listen. My name is Pumzile Ndrovu. I come from the northern part of the province of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa in a town called Eshowe. I belong to a Nguni ethnic group, the largest ethnic group in South Africa known as Amazulu. Today, I will be narrating an originally Zulu folklore story called Why Cheetah's Cheeks Are Stained. Kwasuga Sugela. That is how we begin our Zulu stories in our culture, which means once upon a time. There was a lazy hunter who sat under a tree watching a herd of springbok graze in a nearby field. He was so enjoying the shade of the tree and the gentle breeze that he didn't feel like hunting. But before long, the hunter noticed a cheetah approaching the herd and the cheetah did feel like hunting. The hunter watched the cheetah creep through the grass towards a small springbok who had wandered away from the herd. Suddenly, the cheetah sprang forward and ran so fast that the hunter could hardly see her. Cheetah was a great hunter and she easily caught the little springbok. The farmer watched the cheetah carry her prize to her three cubs who were waiting in a patch of shade nearby. The lazy hunter thought, if I had someone who could hunt like that for me, I could spend every day napping in the shade of this tree. Then the hunter had an idea. He waited until the mother cheetah went to get a drink from the water hole. And then he crept to where the three cubs were hidden, waiting for their mama to return. The cubs were too young to be frightened of the hunter. The hunter looked at the cheetah's cubs trying to decide which one to steal. Finally, he decided, I'll take all three. They would hunt for him and make his life easy. When the, mother, when the mother cheetah returned to find that his cubs were gone, she was so heartbroken. She wept and wailed for her lost three children. She cried all night, all the next day, until the tears made, made dark stains down her cheeks. She cried so loud and noisily that an old man heard her and came to find out what was wrong. When the old man learned what had happened and who was responsible, he went quickly to tell the village elders and told them about the lazy hunter, what he had done. The elders were furious. The lazy hunter was a thief and he had dishonored the tribe by breaking with tradition. Hunters must use only their strength and the skill to hunt. The villagers found the lazy hunter, ordered him to go far away for the rest of time and brought the three cubs back to their mother. Oh, the mama cheetah and her cubs were overjoyed to be back together, safe and sound. But the mother cheetah's face remained stained with tears forever. Cheetah still wear those tear-stained cheeks today to remind hunters to hunt honorably. Thank you, you Pumzile, for sharing your story, and thanks to you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again next week to find out what else happened once upon a time. This episode of Once Upon a Time at Camp Sparkler was produced by Sparkler Learning as a part of Camp Sparkler 2023. Thank you to this week's storyteller, Pumzile Tembelichle Ndlovu, and thank you to Benjamin Weiner, who wrote and performed the song Once Upon a Time for Camp Sparkler. To learn more about Sparkler, or if you have a child five and under and you want to play and learn along with us this summer, please visit our website, playsparkler.org forward slash Camp Sparkler 23.